Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you my deep cleaning routine that I do once a week. And I have news for you guys. I recently got a new bunny. I adopted her from the shelter and her name is Cookie. And I'm gonna plan to bond her with my first rabbit, Charlie. I hope you like this video and subscribe and comment and all that jazz. Thank you. So this is the damage, <laughs> the mess. Um, This is Cookie. Say hi, Cookie. She always wants a treat. And this is her little area, and I need to clean everything. There is a lot of poops on the floor. She likes to kick her poop out when she goes out the litter box. And yeah, also this is Charlie's area. They're like separated because they're not bonded yet. This is the mat I need to vacuum and all the toys I didn't pick up. And I'm going to clean the litter box. And it's been a while, so yeah, it's going to be one hard day of cleaning i had to sweep and mop and vacuum so yeah so i'm gonna use this big trash can trash can trash bag to clean the litter boxes the first thing i do is just you know open the big bag i'll put it in here and get to cleaning i recently um changed this um his litter box, Charlie's, to this um, one, I think it's from Breeze, and it's actually working pretty well. Um, I don't waste as many pine pellets as I usually do, and I, I can just clean it, like spot clean it easy, because the poop stay on the top and the pee goes down. So yeah, I'm gonna clean it now. The top. And then, it like, all the poop pee and the hay and the small haze and the pine pelts go down there. And I'm just gonna throw the whole thing because it's a deep cleaning so I don't have to save any of these pelts if they're still on top. And I also use this blue seal so that he doesn't get to the pellets because sometimes I see him trying to chew the pellets so I just use this, put all this on the floor. And then take this out and I just throw all the dirty stuff and, and I, you don't want to see it. <laughs> and take out, it comes with the pads, but I'm, I'm going to use like regular MP pads when I have no more. And then I just run the vinegar. And just wipe it. The um, video like stopped when I was like almost done with cleaning the litter box right here. And I got to this point, I attach it back. All clean. And it's like this. So I put the blue thing on top for the pellets so Charlie doesn't step on them. Move it to the side. Now I gotta sweep all the hay that fell on the floor. I use a small dust pan all this hay on the floor, put it inside the trash bag. And I'm not gonna fill the, the hay box because I didn't get my hay yet, but I have enough. And sorry if you can hear it outside, it's snowing. So if you can hear like the rain, it's snowing That's from outside. Here. And then and then I just leave it like this. I'm gonna pick up all the toys on the floor. All this is on the toys, all the toys on the floor right now. Pick up the toys. These are the second cups I got from the well pet rabbit. They did the Charlie's new one. <laughs> Toys in here. 
then what I would do next Because it's a lot of bowls Take this flat and then I shake it. I still don't know what happens here. Well, one second. <laughs> Yeah, they're like in molting season because it's almost spring and all their hair is just like going to this part of the vacuum. And then, put this away on top of the hay box. And then I take my real vacuum cleaner. Hut, if you're really curious, they have like mats now. They have like a pink one, and it's so cute. I want to get the pink one for cook for Char um cookie, not Charlie. I mean, it's like Charlie. So I shake it a little bit, the hair gets just like going everywhere. And I just push it aside. I'm just gonna hang it where um cookie's thing is, and I'm gonna sweep this area because it's a little dirty. I'm gonna use this for a fair. I use this for a mop, but then I use it, uh, I, I don't like wet it yet. So I might just use it as a sweep. Instead <laughs> of lazy to go down there to get my. I have to probably get it, but I don't have to use my vacuum. I just sweep the hay and the dirt, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it's coming up to the camera. But there's like a little pieces of hay and dust. Because it gets really dirty, but I always sweep and vacuum, like in between days where it's a huge mess. So I'm sweating already, and I'm gonna just vacuum the things that. So after that's vacuum, I have to vacuum my air purifier. And guys, I'm hundred thousand percent recommend an air purifier. Um, their hair and dust just all like, it's like a magnet. It like attracts all the dust and hair and the hay dust. So I turn it off, flip it around. See all the hay in the hair already just flying already. It's full, so I just like I try to do this once a week, but sometimes I do it more than once a week because it gets really dirty. So I have to
I think I need to get a new one. It's as clean as I can get it now. So the mop that I use is the Swifter. And I got this blue um, mop, like reusable one from Amazon. I really recommend it. It's like so easy to clean and it doesn't get like the hay or like dust doesn't like hair doesn't get stuck in it. Like I used to have another one, but the hay and the hair wouldn't come out even if I washed it like by hand or like the laundry machine. So I recommend this one and I use a safe cleaner on the floor. I only use um the Myers one. It's a multi-surface cleanser. It has no like bleach or anything in it. So it's safe for the bunnies. Um, Charlie doesn't like come out when I start mopping and vacuuming. So it'll be fine until it dries. So I'm just gonna mop the floor. Um, it's like so clean after. Like it gets all the dust and the dirt out. I like to mop because I feel like if I don't mop, the dirt just stays on the floor. So I need to mop. Like make sure you use a safe mop because like a cleaner because it can get really really dangerous if you use bleach and if it goes on the rabbits on paws or what do you call them floppy <laughs> so because they start to groom themselves and then they would get like chemicals on their fur which is not safe so i clean the area where charlie the litter box is i don't go too close to the box because they get wet and i don't want it to get like messed up so just mop around this area all the areas that are easy to mop. And then I just, yeah, just mop it around. And then after it dries, I put the mat back in from Toki Hut. And I just put their toys back. Pounds here. Make sure there's no dirt or dust. on the floor this is why i like to mop because sometimes like you just find random poops on the floor i'm like guys i just add i just put charlie's litter box back where it is sometimes i just do it on the side or like i do this because he can't like get the hay if i do it the other way because this is too long, wide too long so i just do that and then Make sure everything is clean, and then I'm gonna wait for this to dry, and then I'll put his stuff back. I'm just gonna clean their bowls downstairs. I'm not gonna record it because I feel like it's just cleaning, like with Dawn soap and water, so like you'll really need to see it. So I'm gonna clean it right now, and I'll be back. So I just finished washing their bowls, and I'm gonna put them back. I'm actually not gonna put my cookies back yet because I need to clean her area first, so I'm not gonna put the bowl in because I have to take it out anyway. And I got Charlie's bowl here. I got these from um, Etsy shop. If you guys want to know, I'll link it down. It just comes with a stand so I can put the water here. And then on the side. The floor is still a little damp, but I'm just gonna put the mat back in because I'm kind of lazy to wait, but yeah. Just gonna put it back where it was. Actually, I'm gonna kind of push it closer to the litter box the last time because I want him to jump and they has like they have like friction after. <laughs> because this, this mat from the Toki Hut has like these, it has like these pads where it doesn't slip on the floor. So I love that. And then I just put everything back and where it goes. I put his toys here. Thing of toys here, <laughs> stacking cups, and these mats back where they go. Um, gonna put his blue favorite blue mat I got like years ago, right where he likes it, right here. And yeah, you can see Charlie right here. He just came out because he knew that I finished cleaning his area. <laughs> Say hi, Charlie. Hi. He's like, I want treat. So the next thing to do is Cookie's area. It's like you can't see me and you can't see me. So I think this is the best I can do with the camera. I'm just gonna take everything out of this area and make sure Charlie doesn't get in because he is not friendly with her yet. 
So I just open the cage. I take everything out. It's like everything is, has hair in it. It's like so dirty. Yeah, I wash it, but then like after a few days, it just gets dirty again. So I just have to like vacuum it, I guess. I take everything out. Fluff these pillows. I think I have to wipe inside this castle. It's so dirty. Everything I put where Charlie's area is, I put her stuff there so that I can clean it. She has her own stacking cups too. Charlie's like interested in her stuff now. Like he's just like chilling with her stuff. <laughs> and then hardest part is her litter box. I clean it once a week. I don't know. I feel like she just uses more litter than Charlie. So I use like this three tier um, litter box. It's from um, Arm & Hammer, I believe. And it's like a scenting litter box. But I just like dump everything out. So then it's easier to do. I'm just gonna do it in here actually. So I can show you. So the materials I use the same. <laughs> it's a towel and vinegar and water is the best to clean litter boxes. I take this same trash can. I'm gonna close this gate because I'm scared she's gonna leave. So the first thing I do is to take the top part out. It has all the hay and poop. So I make sure to put it all inside the bag so that the hay and the poop still fall on the floor. Even though there's a lot of poop and hay on the floor already. I try to make my life less hard. And I just shake it out in here. Yeah, she uses a lot of litter compared to Charlie. Like, um, I only use like a few scoops for Charlie, but I have to use like a whole like cups for her. Like I have to use like a lot, like a whole inch or more. So like, this is the jail, you don't want to see it. <laughs> That's the dirt. I'm just going to lift it here and I'm going to put it inside the second layer. So this is like the layer where it has all the pine pellets and the pee pad and see, she like uses a lot of litter, it's like gone. So I can't barely save any, so I'm just gonna dump the whole thing because it's like a weekly cleaning. So I don't really care about what the same pellets. I mean, they're all used, I can see, <laughs> yep. So having the pee pad makes it so much easier to like clean it. Cause like if I didn't put a pee pad, it would be so dirty and I would have to like use so many paper towels. So I do this, I just spray it with vinegar and water. And I wipe it down with a towel. So I make sure it's clean. And then I put this used one, I put it, I usually use the same one, but I'm just gonna use the second one. So I made a second one here. I can just use this with the pellets in and then I have to clean the top part of this and I'm just gonna wipe it inside the bag with vinegar and water. Make sure it's all in the bag so that it doesn't, the pee doesn't come out or like the towel. So I get more towels because this is like the messier part of the litter box. I have to like clean inside like these dots. Charlie's just eating his hay in the litter box right now. <laughs> so I just wipe the litter box inside, make sure it's clean, not dusty, like all this. Oh, you guys don't want to see that. I keep showing you guys. Sorry. Just gonna put the hay out of here. Just throw it in the trash can. She's just eating the hay that's on the floor right now. <laughs> you can see her right there. She like crunches on hay so I can hear it so much like Charlie, I can hear it but like her, it's like I can hear it like she chews louder <laughs> than Charlie. And like the bottom of this is so dirty so I have to like make sure it goes in the trash. Sometimes it like falls to the other side so I have to keep on doing it like turning it around make sure there's no Nothing on this side, nothing on the other side. It's a whole process. I think it would be easier if I just wash it, but I don't want to like, I don't want to get like the hay or these pellets in the tub because my mom will kill me. She already done that before. <laughs> she already yelled at me 
for like getting hay and stuff in the tub. But I make sure to clean it always, but it just always, there's something that's always just there and you can't clean it because <laughs> it's like, it's like so small. So I just make sure everything's clean. I'm gonna do another rinse with the vinegar and water because I feel like it's like clean, but not 100%. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit on the outside, inside. Cookies are going inside the trash can, don't. Okay, get my towel, wipe it the last time. This is a whole process, guys. I'm gonna wipe it again, make sure it's clean. It's like so clean right now, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I love it when it's like, I, love, I don't know if I have like a, it's like satisfying. So now I'm gonna put this white thing on the floor since it's clean. And I'm gonna fill this up with pine pellets. I use like more, which more than Charlie, because Charlie needs like three or four cups, which she she needs like a lot. So I'm gonna put more pellets. I'm gonna show you guys. So I use pine pellets, and the brand I use it depends. I can use um, feline pine. Sometimes I use I use some of um, one on one rabbits too, and other. I'm just using any feline. <laughs> like I want to get a cactus supply because they're cheap. I don't live close to cactus supply, and no one will drive me to carry four pounds of the cycle, so I have to like, buy it online. And there's like, uh, I can do like spice there. Online like $20 for four pounds, but I guess that's how it is. So I filled it up. So what I said about her using a lot, this is how much I mean. Like this is like a lot. Like I use like a lot with her because she uses a lot of pine pellets each week. And I just put it inside the one that I used before and I just got this one. So this one is already has a paper in it. And I usually put another one under there, but I'm just lazy. So I'm just gonna put it on top. <laughs> and then it's all set. I'll put this on the top of the litter box right here. So now it's like a three tier one and then the pee will go inside and she won't have to step on pee, but the poop stays on top so I can just clean it. So I'm gonna put hay on top of it now. Grabbed a handful of hay from the hay box and I just realized that I do need to get more hay. So I need to order some hay. <laughs> I get hay from small pet select, but this time I got Oxbow, but um, since I got like a 50 pound bag or yeah, I think I got a 20 pound bag from Oxbow, it was really dusty. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any more oxbow like large boxes anymore but i think i'm gonna keep getting like small ones like five pounds or something or ten but i'm gonna stick with either a small pet select or i've seen more brands of hay online now so i might check out those brands because i got orchard grass hay from um rabbit hole hay from 101 rabbits and i actually like that it's the quality is so amazing there's no dust and it's a five pound box and it's perfect i'm gonna take her I put this underneath her litter box, this thing she got. Uh, I got this from when I adopted her, they just gave it to me. It was in her like little cage. And I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna um, like put the dirt inside the bag so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm just gonna take a broom and take out the big chunks of hay so I can vacuum it easier. Actually, I'm going to just sweep and I don't know if you can see it, but I, I, it's like, that's the best it's going to be. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to just mop, not mop, um, broom. There's a lot of poops and stuff in here. So I have to sweep with large pieces of hay. I'll just like add them here. There's like crushed poops because sometimes I like go inside here and I just step on a poop. I'm just like, ew. And that's owning rabbits is poop everywhere. She's good with her litter box. It's just um like when she like jumps out of her litter box, it just like the poop just like jumps with her. Like she kicks it out. Like it's not really her doing it. It's just like the way she jumps out the litter box and the poop just flies. So I can't really do nothing like that's just how it is. Oh, go in here, Charlie. Go. 
They try to like jump in. <laughs> no, Charlie. Okay. No, Charlie, stop. So I just kind of sweep all the big pieces of hay so the vacuum cleaner doesn't like get stuck. So like all the dirty stuff. So then I'm just gonna vacuum the area so it's easier after all the hay has been thing. I just like I right, put this inside the cage. The vacuum cleaner. It's gonna be loud. But I have to clean. to do that as fast as I can because it's really loud and I don't want to like hurt their ears so I just do that and then the rest of the hay that's still in the corners of the cage that's pen I'm gonna just sweep with the same broom because there's still a large piece of hay over there so I'm just gonna actually put it in here I gotta make sure the cage is cold. <laughs> As you can tell, all that dust is making me sneeze. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sweep more of the hay that I missed and the poops that I missed here somehow. I'm probably gonna order hay from Rabbit Hole Hay because I really like their quality and I just ordered another five pound um, box of um, hay so I hope it's gonna come soon and kind of running out of hay but I have enough for a few more days so it should be fine throw away the haze make sure there's like the hay gets stuck in between the cage and outside so I have to like grab it it's really hard but I mean I would probably leave it because it's like a lot of work on the corner. I'm just gonna. Sometimes I do it, and sometimes I don't. It's just these pieces of hay inside. So you just gotta like pick at it. Like there's some poop behind these cages as well, so I gotta make sure I get that. And it smells. Hold the cage up a little bit and sweep the inside. I like sweeping because I can see the hair that's like coming out of it. It's like kind of going in here. I'm just gonna move the litter box a little bit so we can get the corners. I'll just do it because I'm gonna be cleaning. I have to clean. I need to stop being lazy. Well, I think that's about it. I'm just gonna. Put her toys back and vacuum her house in bed. So her house, I got an Etsy. I can um put a link if you guys want. I'm just gonna vacuum with the small vacuum inside here. this back under the litter box so I can catch some of the poops. Okay. So I'll put it underneath the litter box. So 
there she goes. And the house is back here. Oh, and the cookie's like right here. Like, you can't see her, but she's like out. Not outside, but like, she's like right here. <laughs> you can see her. I need to wash this because it's pretty dirty, but I don't like the dryer's broken. So, I mean, I can try to wash, but it's kind of my mom kind of doesn't want me to wash stuff, but I'll do it in secret. <laughs> like the rabbit stuff, she's like, oh, just vacuum it. I'm gonna put this thing I got on Etsy as well. If you want me to link the things, I'll also link it down below. I'm just gonna vacuum it. I'm just gonna mop the little section that is here because she likes to lay on this but you can't lay on it here girl i'm wiping it so i have to wipe it because there's like a lot of hay and dust that goes here okay got it redo that because it's kind of i fell apart <laughs> so guys i got that done I'll put this apart. Yeah. She loves to lay on this. So I just put it apart. I'm going to put it next to the litter box because she likes to jump on it from the litter box. And she likes to go under it sometimes, which is funny because she just goes down. So, like that. So she likes to go on it like that. Sorry for the noise outside. Put the orange like I have to put it apart it's like it's like a puzzle for me too like this yes so it's like this and then I'm basically finished cleaning so that was basically my cleaning routine and sorry if you couldn't see every single thing because it's a struggle <laughs> to film while you're cleaning but I did it and I hope you guys liked the video and if you want me to make more videos about my setup or anything else related to rabbits please comment subscribe and like and i got a piece of hair in my head in my <laughs> face so thank you bye